What's going on, guys? Um, in this lesson, we are going to um, discuss application programming interface, known as API. And at the end of the lesson, you should be able to understand the concept of API. You should be able to communicate or retrieve data from API using fetch. You should be able to understand promises. And we are going to see an example using GitHub API. So I will be using this diagram for um, the explanation. But before we go, what is an API? All right. Technically, API means application programming interface. But what does that mean? Okay. So we can refer API as a means of accessing resources that is located somewhere else. And this somewhere else could be a folder on your computer it could be a file in your current working directory and the most common occurrence is that it could be located somewhere on the internet all right and if all those are true then we can define or we can refer to api as a set of dedicated url dedicated places dedicated servers that are what that returns pure data responses all right and why do we need to work with an api why do we need to communicate with api well several business problems which you want to solve as developer has been solved by third parties that is some set of people some set of um service providers different from you so they already have the solution and all you need to do as a developer is to integrate their solution to suit the purpose to which you want to build your app or your website all right so having said that let's look into this diagram to understand what an api means okay so in this diagram this picture here is representing a user Okay, it's representing a client, actually, which could be you or anybody that needs data from an API. Okay, and this is an API. Okay, so uh, let's say this is GitHub API. All right, so this is GitHub API. And what we want to do is that we want to, for example, let's say we want to get, um, Want to get details of a user of a GitHub user, you registered GitHub user from this GitHub API. Okay, so in order to do that, we are going to make a request as a client to this API to locate the data of the particular person that you want or the particular user, and then it will bring you back a response okay it's going to give you back a response and this response is stored in an object called promise are we getting it you make a request the request gets to the api where it is stored where the data is stored okay then when that endpoint when that api is reached it send back a response and that response is in form of what a promise all right now this promise is an object okay and it's this object that holds the data of the user that you want to retrieve are you getting it and now on this promise object three things can happen all right now there is something i forgot to mention so when this request when you make this request and you are expecting a response then you are forming what is called you are creating what we call request response cycle between your browser and what and your api that you are trying to communicate with all right so when this request response cycle is established then you have a promise object and this object can now have three states so these are the states of the promises 
So, and what does that mean? What is the meaning of each of these? Okay. So, when we have a promise object, the promise can be fulfilled. That is the first condition. And what does that mean? It means that you have requested for an object or for a data in this API, and that object is available and is now brought back to you. Okay. So, you have the data that contains details about the user that you want you wanted to retrieve from this api in that case the promise is fulfilled all right for some reason maybe network or the way your uh, function is constructed you are expecting a promise you are expecting an object you are expecting a data and that data is not coming on time okay so it's not fulfilled and it's not rejected so that kind of promise at that state that, that state is called what is called pending it means you are yet to get an okay response or a not okay response i just put it that way okay so in that case you are having a pending um promise and lastly if for some reason your uh promise was not able to retrieve data of the user that you want okay maybe network or other reasons there are several reasons why our uh, promise will not get fulfilled and in that case we are having what rejected state do you understand now so having established this let's see what happens in each case in the next video